I'm Matt Dunford. I'm a PhD sponsored athlete, fitness model and personal trainer. Uh, this is my first video blog. I'm going to be doing video blogs every month now for the PhD website, uh, also for their Facebook and Twitter pages. Uh, I'm going to try and pick some really interesting topics. Uh, the first one being, being one that's quite close to my heart and one that I've got a lot of experience in, uh, fitness modelling competitions. Um, so we're going to talk, talk a little bit about it in detail. Um, so first of all, if you're thinking about competing, uh, you need to think, why do you want to compete? What's the primary reason why you want to compete? Uh, the reason why you need to you know, understand this and find this out is because you need to be motivated to get in the best condition of your life. Um, you need to be motivated to be disciplined, to make sacrifices, and if you don't understand why you want to compete, you know, you won't, you won't fully 100% you know, dedicate yourself to it. So establish why you want to compete and then, and then you can move forward. Uh, the next thing you need to consider which category you want to go into. Uh, there's lots of different categories. There's for women, bikini, fitness, muscle model, bodybuilder, uh, and the same for men as well. So you need to speak to friends, speak to other guys, girls in the gym, uh, speak to different organisations, management, they might be able to give you some advice and try and work out which category best suits you. Uh, it might not be the one that you like best or that you're a fan of, uh, but you need to go with what your, your body and what your character and personality suits. Um, so establish that. Um, then you need to consider organisation. There's lots of different organisations out there. They all vary slightly, so do some research. Uh, find out which one suits you. Uh, there's WBFF, which I personally find suits me really well at the moment, and I'm looking to progress further with this year and next year. Uh, Miami Pro, um, UK BFF, and Muscle Mania, all slightly different. So do some research and find out which one best suits you and your your long-term goals as well. Uh, then you need to decide, decide on a date. So you need to decide which show you want to compete in. Um, don't don't just go for the next show. You know, look at your body, look at your commitments. Have you got birthdays, holidays, you know, work commitments coming up that are going to affect a structured preparation that you know you really really need to focus on. So make sure you don't have anything that's going to get in the way of making sure your preparation is as good as it can be. Uh, once you do decide on a, a show, pencil it in, set it in stone. That's that's the show, show you're doing. Don't change your mind. Um, and yeah, and then it's on to the, the work. That's where you have to start structuring a nutrition plan, a training plan, and a supplement plan, which is where PhD comes in. Um, the training that should be it should be relatively easy. I mean, we all train, we all know how to train. So you just now need to get a structure. You need to look at your weaknesses, uh, look at your body, and find out where you need to focus on. Um, look at your look at the competition. Look who's done well in the past, and find out you know what kind of physiques work. Is it more commercial? You know, softer, vascular. Just have a look what works and try and sculpt your body to best suit that. Um, yeah, and then um, it's nutrition. You know, the it's the one thing that really, really make can make you a champion, or it can, it can you know put you back. If you don't have your nutrition on point, you're really gonna you're really gonna struggle. So my advice would be to go and see a nutritionist or a nutrition coach and get some get some advice. You know. Speak to them about your diet over the last five years, and um, speak to them about food you like, food you dislike, um, flavorings you like, and then you can come up with a plan that's not horrendous or not one that you d really don't look forward to every day. Um, food and diet doesn't have to be boring, you know, to be healthy and strict. As long as you're getting the right nutrients in your body, then it's uh, you know that's that's all you need need to do, and uh, yeah, it can be exciting. So you know, diet is really important. Um, Supplementation, okay, so PhD supplements, um, they've really made a big difference to me over the last eight months that I've been sponsored. Um, just the quality of the, the actual supplements, they, you know what you're getting. So you know you're getting a uh, pharmaceutical grade supplement, you know it's been researched in universities, you know the flavourings are great, so trust, you know, trust PhD and, uh, and, and structure your supplementation based on your body and your goals. So don't, you know, because your friend's a big meathead, don't don't start taking exactly what he's taken. Get some advice from us. Go on the Facebook page. Go on the website. Contact myself on my Facebook page, and we'll help structure a, a supplement plan for you. Um, me personally, you know, I've got my favourite Recovery Two One, um, uh, six hour blend before bed, Glutamine. So I, I, to be honest, I use the whole range. There's not much I don't use. So 
feel free to contact me and I'll give you some advice on each individual supplement. Okay, so the next thing you need to do, you need to start practicing your, your stage. So everyone focuses on their, their body, sculpting their body into this amazing gladiatorial physique that you know they can't wait to show off on stage. But then it comes to the stage and they 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 freeze, they're clueless, they haven't they haven't prepped. So start practicing. As soon as you start structuring your training, start practicing at stage. Get in the studio, get in the living room, get people watching you, get an audience and uh, start looking looking at yourself in the mirror and start looking at angles that suit you and angles that don't suit you so you can avoid those and um, yeah, just get used to posing and uh, don't feel awkward about it. Do it do it in your little trunks, do it in your bikini, you know, because if it, if the first time you're wearing skimpy little trunks or bikini is on stage and in front of an audience, you're not gonna look natural up there. So, you know, really, really focus on getting an audience in, looking at you in your in the actual outfits you're gonna wear. Um, okay, so the next thing you've got to do, you've got to you've got to look into social media. So you've got to look into not just social media but getting your name out there. So the competition you're competing in, they know you're coming. So many people go unnoticed, you know, they have a great physique but they're just unnoticed because no one knew they were coming. And if there's 80 guys or 80 girls in the category, you've really got to have something special if you want to stand out. So get on Facebook, get on Twitter, start liking pages of organisations, um, start sharing stuff, start liking other athletes and really get your, your name out there. And, uh, and yeah, even videos, blogging, you know, just, just it might be annoying and people might, you know, some of your mates that aren't really into this, might think, oh, what's he doing? He's, you know, he's annoying the hell out of me. But it's what you've got to do. If you want to, if you want to be successful, you've got to be business-minded and get your brand, you know, build your brand awareness. So put it everywhere. You know, as long as you do it professionally and in a, you know, in a correct manner, then you know it should only be beneficial towards you. Um, okay. So the next thing, I, I, I think everyone should go on YouTube. I think they should look at different competitions and different models on stage. And try and find people that you could resemble, that you could actually look like on stage, and take, you know, take examples from them, and and try and adapt yourself to to other people. I mean, don't just copy one one person because that that would look stupid. But you know, take take positives from like the best people in the world, and um, come up with something that suits your character and your your charisma. Um, yeah, and then uh, what else is there? Okay, so when the next thing is when you actually get to the competition. So you've done all the hard work. Um, what do you do when you actually get there? The day of the competition, you you need to relax. So you need to stop worrying about how dry you are, whether you should be taking on water, what food you can have. The hard work's all done now. So you need to focus on looking healthy, looking natural on stage, and smiling. If you if you get on the stage and you are still worrying about stuff and you're still stressing, it will come across. You know. You might not realise it, but that slight second where you're stressing, you can see it, and uh, the judges, you know, they'll see it as well. So just enjoy it, smile, and uh, you know, it, when the awards are done, be a humble, be a humble loser if you don't come where you want to come, because no, you know, there might be someone in the audience that saw you and, and likes the look of you and will give you an opportunity, and you know, you've got to remember that you're. You know you're there, but there's there's lots of other competitors there, so you don't want to ruin their their kind of moment. So smile, take it on the chin, move on, get better, get better for the next one. Okay, and then the final thing I'm going to talk about is just after the after the show. What does everyone do normally? They go to McDonald's, they go to the sweet shop, they they go and binge, and and then two days later they've lost their physique. You know I've I've done it many times. I've finally learnt my lesson that. You know, all the opportunities come after you. You showcase yourself on a stage, and then the opportunities come. So why would you go and destroy yourself in Burger King when you can, uh, you know, take advantage of these opportunities, cast things, get in the gym? Everyone's talking about you. So if you're a personal trainer, perfect opportunity to market yourself. Your your biggest marketing tool is, is yourself. So you know, take advantage of that. Still relax and have the odd beer or the odd uh, I don't know McDonald's or burger. But find a balance and, and be smart, you know, be intelligent. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this will be on the website. It'll also be on the, the PhD Facebook page. 
Um, so any questions also message me on my Facebook page as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thanks.